So I'm going to do a really quick video and break down the question of whether the Vikings ate peacock. Uh, now this might seem a bit of a strange thing to wonder because peacocks come from the east, um, but we do have some archaeological evidence to back it up. So, so starting with the archaeological evidence, we have the very famous Gokstad ship in Norway. Uh, this is a burial and it contained a man, 12 horses, six dogs, and a peacock, strangely enough. Um, as far as I'm aware, we don't know who was buried on the ship. There's some speculation, um, but I would assume it's someone of fairly important status and wealth, what with the fact that they've managed to import this exotic peacock. Other evidence we've got comes from Thetford in England, where the bones of a peacock were found. Um, and we also have a reference in the Anglo-Saxon Chronicles that says that King Edgar of England, which I believe was 959 to 975, uh, and he was said to have had a flock of peacocks. I nearly said seagulls then, peacocks. <laughs> There's one other interesting piece of evidence that I thought was worth mentioning here. Um, so it is a bit late. It's a 13th century saga, the Lex Dala saga. Um, and it's written about um, a merchant and a chieftain from the early Icelandic Commonwealth uh, known as Olaf Hoskaldsson, uh, or otherwise known as Olaf the Peacock. I'm a peacock man. So he was the son of a slave woman and he quickly rose to prominence in the Icelandic society. At the age of 12, he was adopted by Thord, a gothi. He accompanies Thord to the Althing, where people called him Olaf the Peacock due to his fancy clothing. So back to the original question of did the Vikings eat peacock? And well, we can't really say for sure. Uh, all we can do is speculate. They had access to them, so it's plausible that maybe higher status people would have done it as a, a very showy thing at a banquet or a feast. We can also look to slightly later medieval when peacocks were reserved for the upper class. So they were probably too expensive to be eaten on a regular basis, but maybe as a sign of wealth, you would uh, serve one at a banquet. Oh, and by the way, I've looked them up online and they're unlikely to make an appearance at one of my events or shows anytime soon. A whole bird would have set me back 320 pounds, 240 for the double breast, or 80 pounds for one egg. It's crazy. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you. Bye.